There's a whole new door to open to your future. I'm here today with the director of Disability Center, Pam, or what we should say is Success Center, that your daughter is, is she your motivation for it? Yes, she is. When she was, um, when she was younger, she didn't have the services in place that we have now. You think of disability as a wheelchair, someone with Down syndrome, someone with cerebral palsy. Today, it is a science. A student here at CBU, can you just share some how do you feel like this program has helped you? The people behind me to help me to get through um, just the struggles that I've had and uh, the, lear the learning issues that I've had to overcome, I wouldn't have been able to do it without the, um, the help of the tutors upstairs. Tell me something positive as far as uh, that you've seen in students here at the, on, with the program. When students actually take an active role in their um, academic success. Do you feel like this program is benefiting students? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, definitely beneficial. So James, when you were in school, did you have any accommodations in place to help you with your education? Well, actually, since I'm so young and way back then, um, <laughs> I've just noticed I've always been hyperactive, which has been beneficial in sports and been beneficial in um, dancing and um, other things. So, but there has been when you have to sit for long periods of time or you have to um, stay focused on specific things, you have to learn certain things that work for you and um, you get more time on tests, you don't get distracted or feel rushed, get test anxiety and, and so forth. I've made the provost list and have made nine A's and three B's in last year, so I've learned that, yes, this program has been very much a success for me. A disability, look at it as a success. I don't know because I study, I work hard, but there's times where you know, I need time to think about things or I need to just kind of have time to process it. For someone who's hyperactive, their mind goes all over the place and sometimes we look at the big picture of things and sometimes in school and tests, it's focusing on just the specific answer for the test. So a lot of times it's kind of like you have to go through a checklist sometimes for me, a process or looking at it and then figure out which one's the best answer. So it's total translation process that is going on because they have to take that information reprocess it in their in their brain and then try to write it down well there's no time to do that while you're lecturing